I hate when older people say, you're too young to be tired. Like, first of all, that's bullcrap. Second of all, all right, Margaret, well, you're too old to be alive. So here we are. <laughs> this is crazy, you old bat. All them gray hairs. You want to talk? Let's talk. I can go all day. I know you can't, probably have a heart attack, but let's go. <laughs> that was kind of mean. But yeah, I hate when people say that. Like, just because I'm 22 doesn't mean that working a 40, 50 hour week doesn't make me tired. Energy can leave anybody. Like my energy for this kind of conversation. Just no, not doing it. I wish I had this cow's peace of mind. I already have its body. Dang, <laughs> me too, sis. That's funny. I want to be this cow. He is living his best life. That's such a nice view. Probably in front of a slaughterhouse. <laughs> That's not nice. If you're vegan, don't come after me. Vegan teacher, if you're watching this, I'll fight you. Don't start with me. I can get petty on TikTok. This is me and my sense of direction. Like if anyone tries to tell me to go west or east, I'm like, bruh, just point which way I have to go. I don't know directions. I, sometimes I forget that east even exists. The only reason I know west sometimes is because I live on the west coast because people say it all dang day. But besides that, I don't I don't know where I'm going. I would not survive without Google Maps. <laughs> you don't have a skeleton inside of you. I don't. You're a brain. You are inside of a skeleton. You're piloting a bone mech that's using meat armor. Ew! I don't like that. Literally everything about my personality and my soul, whatever you want to call it, whatever you believe in, it's all in my brain. And my brain is just operating my body, my heart pumping blood. Like that is a mind explosion. <laughs> I don't like thinking about this stuff cause then it hurts my head. <laughs> this girl is just like, what? She's like a three year old who just gained consciousness. He's like, I'm alive. <laughs> so I lost a spider in my room. It's gone now, <laughs> I hope, but at what cost? Like you probably didn't even kill the spider. I guarantee it escaped and now it's gonna go to your next home. Like in all those paranormal activity movies, it never leaves. It follows you everywhere you go. No matter how many people die, how many times you move, it will find you in your bloodline. <laughs> Lately, people just keep trying me and I am barely holding it together. This is me all day. I literally get the eye twitch. Usually that means I had too much sugar, but still I'm just like, you people driving me nuts. I need another self care day, even though I've had three of them in a row. Don't judge me. Like I get this stressed out over literally doing nothing all week. It's like, why am I stressed? Imagine if I still had a normal job that I had to go do every day. I would not survive. <laughs> I don't have that resilience anymore to stand labor. <laughs> this is me because I cry over everything. At this point, like if my boyfriend and I get in a small little argument, I'll start crying and I'm just like, ignore the crying. I'm not trying to like manipulate you or anything. I'm just very emotional. Ignore the tears, keep talking. I'm still mad at you, but ignore the tears. I tell people like, I'm just dramatic. Please ignore me. My friends just be sitting in the corner of the room watching me make the worst decisions. Like they don't even try to talk me out of it anymore. They're just like, let's just see how this pans out. We can't stop her anymore. There are those kinds of people. It's like, you can't argue with them. You just gotta let them do what they're gonna do. Stop trying to fix other people's problems. That's some real life advice. Ted talk over. Me is about to leave a bench. Person sits next to me. It's so awkward. Cause then I have to wait a few extra minutes before I leave so I don't hurt their feelings. Like I swear I'm not leaving just now because you sat down. It's just bad timing. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you feel bad. But for real though, you gotta be careful as a woman. Cause not too long ago, I went to go pick up some food at this place and I had to wait outside for it. And there's a security guard there at the door all the time. And he just starts talking to me and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll have a nice conversation with a stranger. And I didn't even say that much. I was just like, yeah, really? That's crazy. And at the end, he asked me to dinner. And I was like, dude, you're like 50 years old. This is why I can't talk to people and sit next to strangers anymore. Cause then he took it the wrong way and thought I was into him. And all I did was listen. So yeah, you know what? Next time do feel insulted. I did get up cause you sat down. <laughs> Kids, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. <laughs> and then the rest of it goes like, weather man bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. Or is that a different song? And I just realized that the weatherman probably died. <laughs> but anyways, the rain is like, okay, I'll come another day. And then he does. And the kids keep saying, go away. And the rain is just there like, 
Why do you hate me? I'm just trying to do my job. Nobody wants me. It's okay, Rain. I love you. I love the rain. But I love the sun a little more because I have a little more energy. <laughs> but you're great for movie nights. The last molecule of serotonin in my brain doing its best to make sure I have a good day. He's a real one. He is your biggest fan. We all need that kind of friend who's just there. We know they're gonna be there no matter what. Like, yay, Sarah, you did nothing today. That's better than staying in bed all day. At least you got up. <laughs> like, thank you, me. <laughs> what a year this week has been, man. <laughs> and I didn't do anything. I'm supposed to go on a hike in like an hour, but that's it. That's all I have planned. I don't know why I'm complaining. I'm just, I'm kind of a negative person. I notice that about myself. I just say negative things all the time. Like, oh, this table's dirty. This popcorn tastes bad. And I told myself like, just shut up if you can't say something positive. And I didn't talk much. Describe your summer in two pictures. Eating, gaining weight, not exercising, doing absolutely nothing and no one reaches out. <laughs> I didn't get any text all summer. It's lonely. Like, why don't people reach out to me? <laughs> me and my profile pic versus me in the Zoom meeting. Guys, if my camera is off during class, do not say anything. Do not say, Sarah, turn your camera on. No, you don't want to see this corpse. <laughs> Just look at my Instagram picture if you really need something to visualize, but you don't want to see the live version. <laughs> this takes like two hours. I don't know why, I just, I wanna be this bear. <laughs> That's how I sleep, I sleep on my stomach, just sprawled out. He is so relaxed and pudgy and soft and I love it. You know what's so unfair is that bears are a thing and we can't hug them, they'll murder you. Like they will slowly eat you alive, they will start at the feet and work their way up. But they're so cute and soft, I just wanna hold them. If I saw one, I would go, puppy. <laughs> Me, throws ball. My dog starts chasing nothing, turns around. <laughs> That's so messed up. Why do people fake out their dogs? And the dog doesn't even care. He's just happy. No thoughts behind those cute little eyes. And they're just like, ooh, ball, yay. They totally forget that you just messed with them. Dogs are the purest thing on this planet and they are too good for us. I need a dog, oh my God. <laughs> when my energy all of a sudden shifts and I'm in a drained mood and kind of just want to be in someone's arms and sleep for a good few days, but the world doesn't want that for me. <laughs> just slowly cry <laughs> in the corner of my room by myself. No tender notifications. <laughs> when you hear your mom saying the house needs cleaning, yeah, good luck with that. I'm gonna hide, just run away for an hour. I would rather deal with my mom yelling at me about not cleaning than actually cleaning and her not yelling at me. I don't wanna work. When you're having an anxiety attack and someone says, just calm down. Really? Is that all I have to do? You just solved depression. Thank you for your service. God, I hate when people say that. Like, don't be sad. Okay, I'll just do that. I wanna slap those people. When your best friend posts, I have no one. Like, what am I, a potato? D am I nothing? All jokes aside, here's some real advice. Try to not take things too personally, unless they actually call you out on something. But stuff like this, you know, you see them post something like, I have no one. Just remember, we all have those moments where we're sad, we're super low, feel like we're alone, and our life just sucks. You get in your feels. It's not personal, it's not about you. You have those moments, and then later when we cheer up, we realize, yeah, I actually do have some people, it's not that bad. <laughs> Just learn to not take things personally. It's usually not about anybody in their life. It's just some stuff they're going through. <laughs> me ignoring the car next to me after almost crashing into it. Yeah, you're a jerk. <laughs> that happened to me. This dude ran me off the road. I almost hit this car that was parked on the side, pulled up to the same red light, and he refused to look at me. I was like, dude, you almost just killed me. You're lucky I'm not calling the cops. But yeah, just pay attention when you're driving, you know, wear your seatbelt, don't text and drive, and just look forward. But anyways, that's it for memes. Comment below which one was your favorite. And as always, subscribe, turn on all notifications for the channel, follow me on social media, links are down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. How do I turn this thing off? Dang it.